exactly right. I can't argue. Let's go ahead and call the meeting to order and start. We do have a quorum. All meeting our members are present. The minutes of your October meeting were a part of your mail out packet. Are there any changes or corrections that need to be made to that set of minutes? Make a motion to approve. Second to that. Have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as they were drafted. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say no. Still working on the five year study, Tommy? Yeah, I think. We might wait for the first two years. Okay, we're gonna leave it on the agenda then and roll it. Okay. Uh, Ricky Story water bill complaint, and you had some accompanying uh, data that was sent to you uh, regarding that. Uh, Tommy, you want to lead us into the discussion? Yeah, he they might have been. He asked to be here. His wife did, so I put it on the agenda. But they had a leak earlier in the year and used their leak adjustment in May or March and uh, had another leak, which he claimed, so he claimed he didn't have a leak, couldn't find it. We pulled this 30-day data and it shows that he had water pretty much continuous for every hour for 30 days. And it was only like 12, day, 12 hours out of the whole month, it didn't run any water out of 30 days worth of hours. So it takes hourly data. I, I can't explain it to people. We, we can look at this and give you an idea of what it might be. Could be a commode, could be. Yeah, I looked at it, and with the exception of just very few hours, it had zero. Yeah. Pretty consistently, it was eight to 11 gallons in an hour's time. And what typically something like that is, in my experience anyway, is a commode that will leak down and it will cut on and run water. And Sometimes it may do it every 10 minutes. It may not do it again for another two hours. So more than likely, he's got a commode, a commode that's leaking that he doesn't realize is leaking. I mean, that's about the only thing that can't explain it being intermittent. And I shared with him, I said, you know, we can't, we can't, why well, can't, we can't adjust it. The only thing the board would do if you came would grant you a, probably a payment plan, but that's the, that's history. That's what we've done. So. I don't think y'all would go against anything y'all done in the past. So, and totally he didn't want to get his meter calibrated. Well, he, correct. we did offer that, and I said there is a policy. If you want yes. to question this meter, we have, there's a hundred dollar fee has to be paid. That covers the mailing of, or the carrying of this meter to be tested. We don't test it. We take it to a third party. They'll test it, give us the results. If it comes back in the customer's favor, we'll replace the meter. Just as bill, give him his hundred dollars back. If not, you know, he loses that and has to pay the bill. And we have to do that, guys, because when you, if you had 3,000 customers come in about a month wanting you to say my bill's not right and my meter's wrong, we'd be broke before we turned around. But, um, but that's the best I could do for him. He, they did say they was going to come, but more than <coughs> time, so I put them on the agenda. Have they requested? Uh, this bill be set up under an installment payment no, plan. No, we're glad to work with him. He's he just kind of refuses. His wife said he can't find a leak. They don't have a leak. That's their stand. And I, I can't. I just, my data. When I look at the data, 
these meters, you know, unless it does something very strange, like be a, a, a three quarter meter under certain hydraulic conditions, probably can run up to 40, 50, 60 gallon a minute. That's, if, if it's over that in a weird, like if it runs 20, 30,000 gallon an hour, that's impossible. So you just ain't gonna do that. I look for stuff like that. And, when I see this, it looks normal to me. I can't, I don't question it. Mm -hmm. I, I say that, look, this is very possible. It could be a commode, could be your hot water heater over running through the re relief. If you got it plumbed going outside, you can't see it, maybe not hear it. Uh, that can happen. It's very rare that that happens, but it can happen. Um, How much was the bill? Uh, I it's going to be over $1,000. I don't know. I think. I remember, right? We we hear so many of them through the months. One years. month, yeah, one month. And if he's not fixed it, it's going to still be going up. Mm -hmm. and, and to be honest, we've had people. We have this data, and all of a sudden they'll go to zero, and then they'll still claim I ain't got a problem. But you usually look in their yard or look for dug <laughs> dirt. They, some people I've had it happen. They'll fix them and tell you they still didn't have a leak. So. It can, Did he uh, accept the leak insurance? He has it, but he used it in He's Ma already May or March. It. Okay. He's used it one gotcha. time a year. Gotcha. Uh, and it's only good for one time a year. Do we I know remember. what the leak was in March? <coughs> I, no, I don't know the amount. What appliance or what fixture was leaking? I can, we could probably look back and see. On the, we get a report where they pay out on, they usually identify why they paid off on it, what it was, was it a commode or a line leak outside, the company, the insurance company usually tells you what they paid out for. So, so the insurance, even they only pay once a year? It's, mm -hmm. just, it's like our old policy was one time a year. So it'll reset. And it'll pay up. I think it's one time in a 12 month period. It'll, 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 it'll recycle for the next 12 months. Yeah. Well, you used to get twenty. You would pay twenty five percent of your leak, and for most people, you pay twenty nine dollars roughly a year. By the time you got twenty five percent off your bill, that's probably going to even out about right. So you're you're actually just you're paying the twenty nine percent. You would have probably gave up that twenty five percent anyway. So. Point being, I just better hope I don't have two different leaks in a twelve month period. Mm -hmm. And we've had people that have, it's happened, you know. The question I have, and I'm gonna get on the bottle, so don't, please, no, but this has been covered. Oh, I agree, I agree, I'm just looking but, at it from both sides. Yeah. Why, I understand the policy of sending the meter off and getting it checked and all this stuff, but why can't you just take that meter out, put another meter in, and if that ends the problem, then you know that was the meter. I don't understand why we automatically have you to send have, that meter off, you set it aside somewhere until you know it's not as it's not that much trouble to change meter. It is. is. It's not that simple. Because okay. you have to change earth numbers out because that meter now you're changing one reading for another, you gotta calculate that. And if you're gonna radio read it, you have to go through all this process of taking this eight digit number, setting it aside, putting a new one in. And if the meter has to go back, you got to turn around and do it all over again. It's not as simple as I see where you're going to go with it. What would, just ballpark, would you estimate your cost to be to go out and just swap the meter out? Uh, probably about $75. The meter itself, you have to you have to buy an extra one to have on site to do that. So it's probably we, 200 we establish that as a precedent, Mm -hmm. then anyone who has a complaint uh, about their meter would fall in that same category and we may find ourselves doing mm -hmm. lots of meter resets. Yeah, you'll catch yourself doing that a lot. And th the other way, the, the policy directive at least uh, puts some money up front from the customer standpoint uh, to get that meter cal recalibrated and tested, it puts the uh, the burden back on that customer to say, "Hey, I really believe this meter is bad. I'm willing to put my hundred dollars up 
to find out if it's bad. Just another spin on that note, could we not do that without them putting the 100 up, up front? And hey, if it comes back that's in our favor, you're going to pay the 100 on your next water bill. Well, you probably could do that if you got them. Okay. Our policy had just gone a different, slightly different direction. Well, I'm just throwing ideas. Yes. And there is a. I wouldn't bet 100 bucks on I thought about buying one. We had one from where I was from. If I really it. looked at everything I could look at and you couldn't explain it and I couldn't explain it, uh, I'd do, yeah, I'd, I'd gamble on 100 bucks. I'm facing $1,000. Yeah, well, I'm paying 1000 yeah. or 1100 yeah. You know, I mean, I wouldn't heartbeat, but I'm just yeah. saying. I just know it, we've had leaks before. <clears throat> they didn't bubble to the top of the ground. They were going down. straight down. Around here. Yeah. We dug up 600 feet of water line until we finally found it. Well, and a leaky toilet can be very frustrating if it's a slow, steady leak. Mm -hmm. We'll get called out to check these kind of things. And when the guy goes to the meter, unless we just look up and catch that come over on him. Yeah. When he lifts that lid and checks the, for the leak flow right. on it, it may be zero. Right. But it's an intermittent problem. It could run an hour, could cut off, could run different times in the day. We may never catch it. Plumbers often make this mistake to tell a customer, you ain't got to when they got to run and come over. They haven't been there long to, enough to catch it. Ain't been there long well, enough to catch I had it. this happen to me before I know. I was in that bathroom down in the basement yeah. that I very seldom used. Kept getting a big bill, big bill, walked the lines, listened, looked at the meter, nothing's turning, why is this happening? And happened to be downstairs and heard it <coughs> kick on. I said, ain't nobody in that bathroom flushing that toilet. Well, you know, I mean, you, you, if you've got rooms that you don't use a lot, particularly, they're bad about it. A lot of times you, you have to put a coloring agent mm -hmm. in that tank mm -hmm. to see if and it's, our, if our it's moving. Tell them, you know, to do that. Mm -hmm. Put some food coloring. Put you some food coloring over there overnight when you go to bed and see if it shows up in the bowl. You got your, your little flappers leaking by. You can have your valve just activate or it'll leak by sometime when it, I know I had a brand new commode and put in a new bathroom at home one at where I live, come from. Two months in a row cost me uh, <laughs> three thousand gallons for two months because it's brand new. Mm -hmm. Ended up changing out the, the valve again because it was faulty from the beginning. Sometimes you don't even hear it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it what happened right. is you flush a commode, you walk away, you don't wait around for it to go off. And it was running after I flushed it for a good period of time. And every time you flush it, it did that. Well, you and the staff have authority to uh, set them up on an uh, yes. installment payment plan. You don't need our permission no, to no. do that. No, we don't. But if it's so far, they have not requested it. That's no, they just still, the last conversation I had, they did not believe they had a leak. They still don't believe the meter's free, which I, I share with them a policy. Your <coughs> only route we can go is do the test, or you take a leakage up, you will give you the payment plan you know and try to we don't go over what y'all have already done in like the two years I stick to that that's what you did for one person I won't exceed that unless y'all exceed it uh, so I said if y'all said something y'all done I stick to that I try to stay to it well you've heard the data you've heard the circumstances um, is there any direction that you want to give Tommy and staff Stick to the policy. Abide by the policy. Start telling toilet valves. <laughs> <laughs> Water heater pop off or toilet valve? That's all. I'll try this. Yeah. I'm not handy, and I'll tell you, it takes 10 minutes and 20 bucks. Yeah. Well, I tell people, you know, I had somebody say that very thing, you know, I said, $20. I'm one of our employees, new employees. He said he had a in his house. I said, son, for $20. I figured that same the water bill you just got. I'm spending 20 bucks, change all of it out. It's 20 bucks. You can go buy the valve and the thing, and that's save you a lot of money next month. You know. Hearing no direction for different action, uh, we'll let the Ricky Story case uh, follow uh, the existing policy and play out in that manner. I did overjump the financials, so if you'll back up with me and grab your 
financials from your packet. We'll look over them and allow you to ask any questions you have, get any other explanations from Tommy and Mary Dale. This will run your numbers um, through the end of October. Questions, comments? We had a question last month, or I did, about the overtime, and you were supposed to get back to us on that. Do you want to address that at this time or take that later? I think it's just see the season of it is my what I think. We had some training. The guys was helping train Calvin. And that's what caused a little of that at the work on it. But that's Calvin's doing it on his own now. There's nobody working on it. We are working some of our projects doing a little overtime, but we will capitalize that because we won't count against you. But it's, it's in the overtime room. Yes, it is now. We've been trying to do a little extra trying to get some of our work done. Any other questions on the financials? I have a recommendation to approve them. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second to approve financials. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. It is approved. Next is your water loss report. It'll be a chart horizontal with blue and yellow coloring on it. Water loss seems to be up and down, kind of like a yo-yo. Unpredictable, but definitely going to cycle. These cold snaps we've had, these real cold. We fixed three radial brakes. It's just where the the uh, buckle iron or cast iron mains we have. It's real cold and <coughs> they'll snap right in there. We that was got us the forty percent last power, I guess. Well, that's um, it not not just that maybe, but uh, it'll be in this month too somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we did have all of our we had uh, I did our water meter uh, water plant meters. We want to do them, calibrate them twice a year. I ain't got the results back on it. There is a percent number I had down here that we were calculating into it to, to where it was off. And uh, I don't know the results. Now we have a, we put a better way of testing it. We put in a, we dug up and put a box on the line where they can put a strap on meter on the discharge of the plant. So it'll be a little more accurate than what we were doing. They were doing a drop test on a clear well, and it's not as accurate. I, it's sometimes the only way you have to do it. But we dug up a box. They put a meter box in where they could just go down in the pipe and strap their meter on. Well, strap on meters, at ultrasonic meters. It does a, it does a calibration test. Why do you think in the month of September we had a considerably higher number for water sold? Well, the, that looks uh, like an anomaly when you prison, look across it the other months. The prison had fixed something because they went back down. They was up to almost 8 million gallons a month. Well, they may have had a leak. And then they fixed it, so it's around, you know, we get that on a meter read, though, but uh, they down about 33.5 million this month, so it's dropped. Their readings dropped. We've been out there, and we try to tell them when we see it, when we recognize it, but their little... Treatment area for the sewer. They have a, a muffin monster, and they have a, 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 a trash removal system like we got a screw press. Uh, they got uh, it was malfunctioning, and we caught it several times where it's just spraying water continuously. It's not supposed to do that, and we always try to call and tell them, but that don't mean they always address their issues. So. Well, even even that October on the unaccounted, it's really not that much above the average. You're right at 37% on average, and that was showing 40, so it's not as bad as July was. So it's still trending down overall, the way I would look at it. Questions about your water loss 
of fork sheet. The engineering report from Evan. Uh, only up, well, I've got two updates. I've got CPG. We're in the middle of doing the planes and specs. We had a meeting with the state a week or two ago. A week ago, I guess. <coughs> their concerns and we should have something turned in. The environmental on uh, Clay Leonard's side is supposed to be done maybe in the end of January so after that we're released to submit our plans and specs to them for them to approve and then we bid it. So uh, it's on schedule and then SRF we finally got a meeting set up for December the 13th at 9 a.m. at Tennessee Tower. Um, you need all of us to move if you want to. Uh, it's just to see how we can proceed with the SRF and the steps that they're going to require uh, y'all to do and give us a better idea of uh, what you'd be out of pocket expenses before they would take over on um, doing the grant and things. They've changed their program a little bit, so it's basically a, they call it a, a pre-construction, but it's really not a pre-construction in the way we look at it. It's basically to sit down and, and get their guidelines on what they're going to Time is definitely going. So let's hope that any of y'all want to go with us. What time? Nine o'clock. Nine a.m. We got to be at either nine or nine. And on the CDBG, our match for that is $64,887. That'll be our match that we'll have to pay for that $525,000. The most. The most we'll have to pay. Yeah. The way they get that program set up now, you just about can't spend all of it. Questions for Evan. Hey, Tommy, we'll move into your report. <coughs> well, I hope y'all got my second email huh. concerning destroying that email. Disregard first. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we fail to do that every year. The mayor kind of reminded me you ain't supposed to do that, so I had to send y'all a rebuttal to delete that finding from the auditor. When will we get their final report? Did they give it? I think usually February. February. Okay. Have they completed all of mm -hmm. the departmental reviews I now? We well, have. Yeah, this was part of the exit interview, but they've mentioned three times that this is not for dissemination. Dang it, Tommy. <laughs> well, I think I send it every year till now, so I had to read. I did see it this year. I was right in the middle of reading it, man. I was like, hang on, I have to delete it. <laughs> Three plus. <No. laughs> well, that's probably good. And you're a nice big hill now. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. I was just about to say I read it all. <laughs> Matter of fact, turns out I ain't read any of it. Yeah, I was telling me this water board business was so serious. <laughs> well, I didn't know it, but I never thought nothing about it, I reckon. I have got, I did prepare the CAP, the corrective action plan, and submitted it to Pete, the uh, comptroller. They got it in their hands, and they, hopefully they'll call and let us know that it's, if she needs anything else. Uh, basically, it was just where we had uh, some issues with our depreciation schedule, and we uh, had like five points in there that they uh, had been addressed about, and that's the only finding we had. We've had, the first year I came here, I think we had six. Next year, three or so, and then we're down to one. And I think we've kind of got them satisfied on our segregation of duties. I don't think they come up. So uh, I've been helping, and we've been using some of the guys to take that deposit, which keeps that segregated. Not the same person dealing with what we're doing. Anymore. And we got a list of some things that may come up as fine as we're going to work on getting those fixed before they even. There's a cash drawer, a third cash drawer that they've kept in there to get change out of, and we just cashed that in at the bank because it's been a sore spot with them. And mm -hmm. We took it out, got rid of it. So there's only two cash cash drawers in the office now. And each person is, uh, that comes in in the morning, they're given that duty for that drawer for the day. So, and that's part of their, uh, 
what they want us to do. So we just went ahead and got rid of that cash drawer, got rid of it, that it won't be brought up again because it ain't there. Uh, and we'll go down that list of all those possible brought up findings. And, uh, there's some issue come up about you know, the American stitch it too, but and uh, <clears throat> approval of certain things have to be, they think has to be county and y'all, uh, like bonuses and things like that. Uh, Mr. Scholes, he might have been around when y'all formed the county back under from a district to the county. He, uh, in most documents in any entity, it has the, the board's powers was not directly spelled out when it was ordinance. In other words, he thinks that the county meant for you to have all the powers you have. It just was not spelled out what those are. And he did give me back when uh, Mayor Carmen was here, a clarifying ordinance to clarify y'all's powers to if the county wished to look at it and pass that. But he just tells what your bill, what you are, because he said one day, you know, God forbid, you do something and they don't like the county doesn't like it, then y'all get in this argument, and one may try to overturn the other. But if your powers are spelled out, that's kind of a little bit more keeps the lawsuits down or keeps. Uh, so we have that. You don't. Your ordinance is there, but it doesn't specifically. It spells out certain things. I, our ordinance <laughs> mainly involved uh, organizational structure, how many commissioners pay for those commissioner meetings, uh, but it did not get deep into what our responsible duties were, where it defined whether we could authorize the borrowing of money, the repayment of debts, and incursion of liabilities uh, on behalf of the department it did not step all of those things out and i'm guessing that what he gave to you would step some of those out you know i, I gave that to the mayor at the time and i left that in his hands to do with as he pleased but it never went nowhere so so we do have that do you still I have that that's I what have i'm it. asking yes i have it i, did I don't think it's been read before the commission no it's not no, and what, I'm, no, what I did do was talk to Mr. Scholes again, and he said he's done one of these again for another county, and he said if, if he would like, I sent it back to, I sent him the copy he originally gave me, and he said he thinks he might could improve it if I wanted to give him some time to look at it, and I sent it back to him, and I can bring that back to I think you could probably it. treat it as an amendment it, to the original it is a, uh, ordinance. He called it an amendment clarifying mm -hmm. the original ordinance is what it is. Because you don't want to set aside the original ordinance. You no. just want to tweak it a little yeah. bit with some uh, and add some guidelines. He called it a clarifying amendment. I, I would like for us to at least look at it. Well, I will. When he looks it over and sends a copy, I'll bring it back to y'all. Did you look at it? <coughs> I would like for us to look at it. I can give you what I I can send y'all a copy of Either what, what, what you have or ask him to update it or whatever. Give him ETA on that. He said he was first week of December he could get to it. He was uh, been on doing some training and he's on vacation. But he said he could look at it on the this first week of December. And as soon as he gives it to me, I can send you the stuff that y'all look at it. Where I came but from. supposedly we are set up uh, operationally uh, in somewhat of a similar manner as the school board mm -hmm. where we are operating an enterprise mm -hmm. fund. Uh, we uh, establish our own revenue source, then we expend against that, that revenue ourselves uh, so there's no uh, other county money or taxpayer money that flows into us so our board uh, is capable of making some independent decisions among itself uh, and then directing management to to carry those things out Crescy City had they were separated by a private act from the city of Crescy yeah. it's still a department of Crescy City but it, in that 
Titus Act, it spells out this board has this power. They they set rates. They uh, they set their employees' benefits, their pay scale. They set all that. They had that right. Those things weren't a part of our enabling ordinance. Yeah. Well, we need we need to have it ironed out in black and white, one way or the other, just for misunderstandings that can come up between someone in, in county government, a new mayor, uh, a new commissioner, whatever, that thinks they can, and if you can't say no, you can't, because this says you can't, and that could cause a lot of confusion, I agree. at least, so. I know we're trying to nail down a lot of the rules for the county commission right now because we've always operated this way. And everybody knows that. Well, not the new people don't know. Well, where does it say I have to do that? Well, it doesn't. So I, I see where it would be. He just said it keeps down to if sure. there's a turmoil or there's a you know if there's a disagreement, then that become it could become a big brouhaha. You know. Let's look at please. Okay, next is uh, we have a, a CD that's ready for renewal. 671000 It currently is at Wilson Bank and Trust. You've got rate sheets, uh, rate quotes that were presented to you uh, showing what each of the in-town institutions were offering for the next time period. Uh, we had asked for uh, to make sure that we got uh, one, two, and three year so that we were comparing apples to apples uh, in terms of, of CDs. And Tommy, you said that Wilson Bank called back. Yes, this, they originally one person gave us this this rate, but who's who on these two papers of that? This one here is Wilson Bank. The, the very lower, first one. This one is Citizens. Citizens. The, the lower Citizens. one is Wilson. Wilson. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, the thing was, the month ago we did this, and one of them said they couldn't, didn't think they could guarantee to wait a whole month to guarantee the rate, so we did it again right before this meeting. And the lady at Wilson Bank that usually does this, she didn't do it this time. She normally gives us a better rate, and they give us the they give us the current or current rate sheet of what Wilson has. She did call me today and say they will they would be willing to match up to the one or two year or whatever was the competitor. But I, that's, I told her I'd share that with y'all, and that would be up to y'all. So they're saying now that Wilson Bank would. Go they would two point two zero to match their twenty four months. They would months. match up to the two year if y'all wish to keep it there. And, um, that's I told her I'd share that with y'all. I don't know. I personally would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done it. But if they're accepted. I got the quote. That's what it is. But y'all can do whatever y'all please to do. Well, it's a hassle to move these things. And if it's there and they're going to match the rate. I don't care which bank it is. I One more time to clarify, Wilson Bank will give us 2.20. Up to two years. Up to two, up to two years. Two years. So, we'll so up to two years. The match, what was... The and that's bank. where we are right now. That's where we are right now. And what? we do have money in the other bank as well? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Well, I would make the motion we keep it with Wilson Bank at, at the 2.20. You got that right into the 2.20 quote, quote from that? I got her verbal today, not... She said they would match up to the two year. If they don't, then we'll readdress it. Yeah. I'll second that. Have and to, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Have a motion and a second, and if I'm, you tell me if I captured this right, would be to re, um, renew the CD uh, at Wilson Bank and Trust on a two year term. Is that what you were at asking? 2 at 2.20. in agreement on the motion. Unless you think it needs to be shorter, I mean, I don't feel like it is. Mm -hmm. sure. There's not a tenth of a percent difference. If not, we call the bank. That's a little bit three dollars. It's only nice. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say no. 
Is that nice? No, it's, I don't like it. <laughs> to be honest with you. It's, 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 what's your thought? What's your thought? They give you a quote on October 15th. They give you a quote on October 15th. Right before the deadline, they call and say, well, we can match what they're doing. Well, what about them? Did they get another chance at buying at the Apple? They did. We cannot wait. I think you got a 10 day period, which you can, after the 27th, when this is mature, or you can just take the money and put it back in the bank. Steve, we've got a good point. And, um, yeah, I can't argue with that either. Um, well, that's what I told you when I, I would have, they gave a quote, that's what I go by. Y'all, I mean, boys do is they, you can see me do. Well, like I say, I, it was irrelevant to me which bank it was. I just was, no, yeah, I it was the moving of it that, that right. I was trying to. I don't to make it care easy. which one it was. I'm just yeah. saying that one of them got to do it twice, and then the other one got to do it once over a month ago. I, I see. What, I see what you're saying. I mean, I was just saying, dang, great. I do. I see. I see. What you're saying. I don't want to do that, but. Well, it's you have passed it. a motion, right. and in order to undo it, we would need to rescind that motion to take us back to square one. Are we allowed to discuss and then make a decision on that? Yeah. I'm not opposed to giving citizens that shot. I think that is fair. Um, if Wilson did, did you provide that quote? Did you tell Wilson that they were at 2.20, or they no, just said, no. we'll just match whatever it is? I got a note to call the bank. Didn't know why. And I called and passed with the person that was on the name. She said she got wind of it. That, that was what I didn't tell her. I don't do that. I, whatever I get is what I get. I don't tell nobody nothing. No chemical company we bid to, I don't share none of that with nobody. Um, but she just said she got wind of it. I don't know how. But then I told her I would just share that with the board. That's all I could So she, she got wind of the rate or she got wind that you we were bidding. Well, well, they knew we were bidding because we, we bidding. asked for those. We asked for bid. I, they think asked it bid. The, I think she knew that the rate he gave was not was not what they would normally what they would normally give us. On that amount. And they normally do better. But she she just said she would guarantee us for whatever the two year was. When does this uh, C D uh, when is its renewal date? The twenty seventh tomorrow. 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 Okay. You got a ten day period, I think you can do. I mean y'all Yeah, but we're not gonna meet again in ten days. Well what we make call special when you're coming here. Can you give us the right to take the two whatever two year or and then ask them? You let me do that or is that it's something you believe? I, I would want the if you're gonna uh, extend bid opportunities again, I would want them both to put uh, current rate in writing. To us. Best and final. And one then shot. we could allow, uh, we could pass a motion that authorizes management to choose the better. Now, your your rub may come if they're tied. If they mm -hmm. come back with the same rate, then you. Maybe where's that? Maybe where's that? You could pass the motion to do that. Just to avoid the hassle of moving. That that's what I was trying to do with my motion. I wasn't trying to favor one bank over another. Yeah, me neither. But even after Tommy's discussion, it's not like I, it's not like the other bank knew the other quote and was like going I'm, back again. I'm not saying they knew. Yeah, I'm just saying the other quote. It was the I, person that normally gives us the rate didn't give us the rate. But then, but then when they found out that they was given y'all was given a rate, the person that normally gives us gives us the rate calls and says, no, we'll do this. Yeah. Do it do better. So technically I honestly yeah. feel like it was a it was like I, I found out what systems was bidding. I mean let me I don't think I, I agree with Stephen though man. I deal with I had a customer we we quoted them two weeks ago and then they send me the same bid, give me your best rate. I mean I gave you my best rate first time around. Yeah. It's not change unless it goes up. Right. Yeah. I mean, I do that. <laughs> But, you know, a citizen comes back and says, well, yeah, what do you tell them? 
Yeah, Wilson you know, came back and said, "Big match, whatever you say." I mean, then, then, yeah. but they didn't. Oh, they bit it back and forth. That's, that's not this. That's part of bidding war. Yeah, but I'm saying not after the fact. Right. Don't want it to happen. Now, what you could also do is disregard the the verbal uh, quote you received. Make your decision based on the uh, written quotes that you were given roughly 30 days ago. Are they going to charge us any kind of origination fees or anything for writing it, for changing it? I mean, sometimes they do. Don't look at me like that's not done. It is. I mean, they'll, they'll give you a rate, and then they're going to charge you 1% for writing. This might change mine. I don't know, but uh, we have quite a bit of money in the bank right now. It might be, be turned into a CD. We could put a half a million more dollars in the bank right now and see if you wish to the board. You got almost one point nine million dollars in the bank right now. We are operating. It's in the money. We have we all open the money market account because it gets a little better rate, and we put most all that money, most of it, except for some of our operating cash. How much are we insured on this? Yours, because of who we are, it's insured no matter. It's a government entity, so they. It goes above it. It's, it's not be. subject to FDIC. It's not. Okay. And what a bank typically does for government funds is they capitalize it against the, the capital of the bank. Mm -hmm. So there's your potential. I call 5972 report of a carbon monoxide detector going off. This side of residence. Well, I'm not sure the even with the difference in the rate. Right. I know ETA 45. I one point six five versus two two zero. On that amount of money, it's going to be quite a bit of money. I'm all for getting all we can get. Yeah, I mean, if it had been a difference and we and they weren't matching it, I'd have probably said move it to the other bank to get some more money. But I just want to make sure that there's no fees involved in doing that that we're not aware of. Uh, we don't do anything in the 10 days we'll take them. what happens. It automatically renews where it is. is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could cash it out, I think, without yeah. penalty of losing anything right now. And then start over. What, well, what, what, if, what, if, what if you did that and then just moved it to the money market account temporarily? We well, already talking about moving more money. We could do it again. Have everybody come back with written bids. Yeah. We got to move next month's meeting anyway. You got to move it up, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. It won't be for three weeks. That's a good point on those origination fees, though. Yeah, and we could ask those questions. Mm -hmm. We could. But we we already got some work for you. And we may want to take it for more money. Yeah. You may get substantially higher if you said we're going to put a million dollars with it. Well, you could take that and I, I don't know. Just, you know, I, I want to keep it local. I want both of them to benefit, yeah. and I want to favor one over the other. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I totally agree. I favor one that's going to pay me the most money. How bad do you want it? Well, I mean, that's what it's all about. It's business. What you plan, first step will probably be to rescind the motion you passed and then go in a different direction. I am still comfortable with the motion I made. I'm comfortable with the second myself. But I mean, you know, we'll do what was the, if y'all were not, and somebody. Well, you have in. passed a motion that directs them to um, create the CD. At Wilson Bank and Trust, two years accepting a 2.2 uh, verbal quote. If you're happy with that, we'll take no further action. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm
But I, I, Stephen made a really good point. He did. Well, and, I, I feel bad for not thinking that through. I didn't do my job. Well, the only the only reason I can sleep at night because it's not it's because that we did not. It's not like they called yeah. and knew the other person, other parties quote and matched. Then I would not be able to sleep at night. But it, yeah. I can I can see my assistant calling. Oh, my, I can see my assistant calling somebody saying saying. Hey, this is what we normally charge on Crush and Run. But I've had this customer for 15, 20 years. And I, they say, hey, I bid this out for, no, 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 let me call them. No, hey, we, we, we're going to do what we always been doing with you guys. That's not, I don't feel like that's bidding twice. But I see it as me calling your customer and saying, hey, I know Craig's going to give you that for 250 I'll do it for 200 I'll do it for the same rate and I'll get it in two hours quicker. One more thing. Them calling in after they'd already given their bid. I understand your assistant did it. When you need to go tell your assistant, hey, don't do this. Wait until I'm here. You still will make that phone call. You would. You would make that phone call. But I'm sorry, we're training. Hey, this is what we know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ship this for you for this race. So we make that phone call. Not knowing what not even knowing what the competitor made or anything. That's not hundred percent on the but I don't think that one's training. <laughs> I, I think that one right there, if he's training, he's training for a big job, he ought to know. It. Well if we're gonna do that then I say we at least we're going to move some money. We need to get stronger and move it to the other bank to kind of offset. I, this is I the call for if somebody wants to make the motion to. This is the only money we've got at Wilson yeah. Bank right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We've yeah. got more money. We've and we've got money at Citizens as well. We have some. That's right. The only money we have at Citizens is about 500000 or over 500000 The rest of our money is at Wilson. Okay. And the primary checking account and sweep uh, money market is at Wilson. Yes. Was another CD. I like the idea of trying to put it back in the money market and look at where we want to put it and additional funds. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with sitting in the money market. We're already saying we ain't more money in the money market. What's it bringing out? Why don't we just keep it, keep it in the money market? Well, it's, 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 it's not much better. Point three five. <laughs> Point three five. Yeah, yeah, no, well, yeah, I ain't making no two percent. No, it's just making the account with something above zero. Are you saying let this one expire then? Or, uh, saying, I thought he said we were doing better in the money market account. I thought yeah. I was say. No, it's better than a regular checking account. Mm -hmm. like regular than a better checking. Yeah, regular checking. So, but it's not anymore. So, okay, my bad. I'm, I'm confused now. So, we, we already got to put. We already got. Let's, well, Tommy was saying put it in the money market, and then we would have. More money to put in the CD. Look, we got to move it out anyway. We want to do two five hundred thousand dollar CDs. Um, we want a million dollar CD. We want a million and a half. I understand. You know, I understand. It, it's what, I, so I, 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 I want to take my second back. When he comes, understand that and just let this one expire and then come back in December and look yeah. at it. Let him get a new right. rates. That new rates. Was, that's what I was saying. More money, all that. Yeah. So, do I need to make a motion to rescind the previous? I move to rescind the previous motion. Second. Second. That's my first motion, man. Hey, All in favor of rescinding previous action? Aye. 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 Opposed? It does pass. So we're back to now square we're one. Back to square one. Make the this. motion we let this CD expire. Put the money into the money market account, and then for us to look at what monies are available and re-quote CDs of where we want to go and the amounts that we want to go with at our next meeting. I see. Is that kind of the consensus of the regiment? I see. Have a motion and a second. Ray Dale, did you capture all of that? Did that make sense? Any, any other discussion, Mayor? Uh, just I would like the court to begin writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a one-time thing, no second bites, just sure. one time in writing. 
Make sure you can see it on the list. Well, I'll let you know on the map to have a quote. Five hundred and a million. Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars at one year, two year, three years. Rough, roughly, do we have? What do we got now? We've got one, six, one, seven, six hundred and seventy. We we've got we've got enough in the money market to make that even million. million, 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 million. We almost got two million dollars in, uh, in the money market. So I I would be comfortable taking five hundred and putting it with that, or doing a split, or whatever. I just said look at five hundred and a million because it might get me a better rate on a million. Mm -hmm. We might want to put five with one, five with another if it comes in even or close. You know. Maybe a million. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna look at this. You're gonna ask for quotes before our next meeting and try to look at this at our next meeting. In right. Yes. One shot. I may make a form for them to fill out and submit to us back. Well, and, you know, I think your letter was pretty explicit. You gave the amount and what you needed. Uh, I think they should have been responded back. I mean, it's not like you're calling up and saying, hey, what's your CD rates? You know, I mean, if they received this letter, uh, that, that, that was pretty, I think all they needed to try to, to make it a, a bid, a valid bid. So I don't think you did anything wrong no, the way you asked for it. I'll add it I'm surprised that both of them didn't respond back in writing. Well, I'll add to this letter that you must respond in writing. Right. Give them a date to respond. And there's two L's on Jewel. Two L's. Could I, could I ask one piece of discussion before we decide on that? What date is our December meeting? We haven't said it, but I was looking at moving it a week earlier to the 17th. 17th. Okay. I was going to say if it was And we just need to week. get our quotes prior to that date so we can act upon them at that meeting. Will we have a quorum on December 17th? Everybody looking pretty available that week? Yeah, I'll be here. I'll, I'll be here. here. I already had no one. It's already on the county calendar. Yeah, it's already on my okay. too. So. Yeah. so the commission moved theirs too. Yeah. I'll be here too. So, um, so we will have a quorum if we make these moves to reevaluate it for December. Okay. Next is your fire protection service policy. Who said? Did uh, you get a motion? Craig. I said. I said. Mm -hmm. Dwight motioned and Craig said. Okay. Did you vote on that? I thought we did. Did, did we? Yes. Okay. I think we did. And it, it was all affirmative. We did. I don't think so. I don't think we voted. Oh. Yeah, we need to. Okay. <laughs> if you're in favor of that motion, um, indicate by saying I. Could you read the motion again? <laughs> I want to make sure. I want to make sure. I want to make sure. Please, please. Read what you got there. All right. You've got a motion for the CD that we have coming due to expire. Move that money into the money market account and requote um, one, two, and three years, 500 and a million. Right. Okay. And those quotes would be, um, we would have those in hand before the next meeting. Once. They we'll have them for three weeks. That won't be a problem. Yeah, have them set a date for the 15th or 16th. Yeah, I'd, I'd let them have the 15th. That'd be easy to get in by the 15th. Yeah. 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 Clear on the motion? Yeah. All in favor you. say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Yes, approved. I also want to clarify that I don't have a preference as to which bank it's in. It's just I was in something similar, had a similar incident occur previously, and it led to a whole lot of scrutiny and issues. It could, it could, it, it, it's a bad here. look to allow that to just walk. Well, uh, I say my, my mission intent was just to make it easier not to have to go to the trouble moving it. It wasn't the paper one over the other. We said that. Okay, fire protection policy. I also sent that to Mr. Scove to review. Okay. I did try, I doctored all those things y'all asked to 
we can put in there. So we'll roll this one too. Yes, John. Next uh, meeting. He yeah. said he'd also review it next week if we review the other thing. I just wanted to be, I, I know he looks at TAUD, that's a TAUD policy in general, and he's been revamping and looking them over, and I wanted him to see if we needed to do anything different as him. He said he'd be glad to, so y'all could wait one more month. And I did notice, and just to show you, I, I finally got a rate schedule for Wilson Authority, and they do, not only do they charge the minimum bill, they charge the per rate per uh, per sprinkler head fees and everything, they, it's it's in their rate schedule. So, um, I mean, I can report that to y'all if that's if you want me to. But they do charge more than just that minimum deal towards their customers. So, there's uh, a hydrant fee in there as well to charge that. So, if there is any situation, the only one I can think of that has a hydrant is BNC. They got three hydrants around their building. That we are hooked to our main supply lines. <coughs> you have more information you give us when we get into yeah, the discussion. But I did. Rate. I didn't realize that until I actually got the, their actual rate and fees that they did charge that. It wasn't in their policy, in other words. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Next item is uh, shift in the December meeting. Uh, if there are no objections to that, I'd like to propose we shift to seven. December 17th, third Tuesday, same time and place. Any objections? Okay. Next is uh, discussion of the manager's bonus. And for some of you board members, you may not have, you were not around when Tommy was hired. Uh, we offered uh, him a base salary and then we uh, offered him a performance bonus that was tied to hitting some performance benchmarks uh, and I think there were maybe eight or ten benchmarks Tommy do you remember how many was in that I don't remember, no. this was a job that uh, two of our previous board members kind of took the lead on Toby and Sissy and they uh, helped to develop the uh, list of uh, uh, the checklist of, of performance items and then we uh, determined by discussion and report uh, how accurately uh, Tommy had hit those benchmarks so his bonus was done as a, a, a performance based and we had a an evaluation piece to document that. Um, was it seven thousand? Five thousand? Why did we carry forward? No particular reason, just to have a performance evaluation. I said, why didn't we carry forward with that to another year to do that same performance evaluation? Well, I think since and then we're doing it, but they. We lost those two board members during the year, and they were the two that had um, been, they, they formed a subcommittee uh, that dealt with this. So here we are at the end of the year, and we had not dealt with it prior. What Do we have any documentation on anywhere what that that plan should was? be in the file have it somewhere? No, it wouldn't be in the minutes because the chief didn't set this. They come up with those bullet points. Yeah, their own committee. I think there were five of them. What were they? Do you remember? Um, we got the highest paid in there. Got some men certified. I've got some men. Cross training, cross training, training and cross training. We doing that. Three guys went took a distribution test here. Just <coughs> no test uh, employee tests that were passed. Mm -hmm. And these were the benchmarks to accomplish this 
this year, year that year. year. So we need to de- we need to develop benchmarks for next year is what we're talking about. Is that well? And accurate? and there is no mechanism in in place for current year right mm-hmm. now. Uh, just uh, unless you utilize those same benchmarks that were were used before. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, it's a biblical saying. You have not because you ask for it. That's right. <laughs> well, they're very, specific. <laughs> they're very specific scope of work of painting fire hydrants. So you can't, I mean, is that, you do that twice, you know, every year. That's kind of a one-off shot, it sounds like a lot. We were addressing the issues the board had when we're coming here. Putting all the majors in. We got all the meters meters on the in. All your meters. automatic meters were not installed, and y'all have had them for four years. Bought them four years ago when we I had, came. We got all that done. Hydrants was a big, were, were a big deal yeah, because we had some that wouldn't work in. They wouldn't uh, paint. I don't think it was just painting the hydrants. It was no, the function. The function. The function. The function. Making sure the valves would open and close. Right. Painting them the right color because that would, that would have been a major lawsuit if somebody, if a hydrant wasn't painted correctly, had a house fire. We show up to a hydrant that's trying to use it, it's not working. Sure. That's I, I would like to say I think Tommy has done an outstanding job. I've worked in the building with him daily. I know his work ethic. I see how much he's here after hours, before hours. I certainly have no problem giving him a bonus. Uh, I think everything he accomplished in that first year, he's carried over this year. He hasn't went backwards. And I don't see that we should go backwards in what we're paying. Uh, that being said, uh, let somebody else speak for a while. Be gift cards you give them every <laughs> year. My my. I won't hold it against you. At my uh, <laughs> place of employment, we have to develop three to five. We call them key performance indicators. We mm-hmm. develop those things ourselves. Review them with my boss. In this case, you could review them. If, would you be interested in developing three to five key performance indicators, whatever they may be, and present them to us, and we can take a look at it and say, is this a good measure of uh, next year's performance? And if you they get accomplished, uh, and some of the key things done this year was your the work at the wastewater plant was finished. Uh, I didn't have not I had some engineering help, but you know, most things we did on our own. We did some of our own work. I didn't get a lot of assistance from an engineer to do that because I've had experience doing this. So if you go down and look at that work, it, it's not halfway done. And I'm, things I needed help on, I got You also began well. to do more uh, line extension work line extension. In, in-house, whereas in the past, yeah. a lot of that was farmed out to an outside company, uh, construction company to do. We. Some of the things that utilities normally do on their own, y'all were hiring done. So your men are doing more of your work now than ever before. Uh, we've accomplished that. That's saving you money. That's one reason uh, we bought him some more uh, specific equipment, equipment to work with. <coughs> all, so all, echo, to work. all echo Dwight. I've only been in this position not even a full calendar year, but I've heard nothing but good things. And it's clear the turnaround that's happened in this organization. So I don't. I don't have any qualms. If we're worried about this year, I don't have any qualms. Just <coughs> just moving past it, matching the bonus, and, and talking about next year to see how we can we're that. we're in the quandary that we don't do this for any other quote departments of county government. However, the other autonomous board, the school board, very much gives bonuses to the director of school. So it's not without precedent to go either way with it, whichever way you want to. Mm-hmm. But um, like I said, I don't want to see him go back in his salary. And that was a way of, I think, uh, making sure those things happened and also rewarding him what he needed to be paid to do the job that he was doing. Um, I, you know, I think we should at least this year continue with that. Uh, whether it's five thousand dollars or equal to one month's pay, uh, which is typical on a bonus situation in most corporate settings, the bonus is based on one month's pay. So I'm I'm comfortable with either one, but I'd rather somebody make a motion that 
but I would love to hear Mark and Craig's input. They had near yeah, yeah, Tom 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 say something too. For your sure. knowledge, <laughs> in my understanding, it, the, these bonuses, even in, because they're past Christmas bonuses, are still in the bu budget. Y'all, they were passed in this budget. This this board passed them. They went through the county process through this board passed. My understanding, if you have it in your budget, it can be done. If you don't get budget for it, that's a different story. Uh, but it is, the money is in there for the Christmas bonus for your, for your employees and that $5,000. We used to award uh, extra several hundred dollars per employee as a Christmas bonus. It's a fairly common practice with other water and sewer utilities. Um, we were told that uh, it's a couple of years ago that those didn't really comply with the comptroller's review and we needed to pull them out. Uh, but we have kept them in there. The dollars are in the budget. Yes, they are in the budget. Uh, and I, we didn't award them last year to the employees, did we? Yes, we did? Okay. It's in there this year. Uh, my understanding from the comptroller, from our auditors themselves, if it's in the budget, it's been passed. It's a line item. It's a line item in your budget and it's passed. It's, that's all they require that it be done, not just out of the budget. And we discussed about calling it something different, didn't we? We discussed that, but didn't we, we talk about yeah, it? It's an annual bonus instead of a Christmas bonus. Right. So we wanted to get away from the term Christmas. In your line, in the line item in the budget, just simply bonuses. No, I think it's actually about how you structure it to kind of go along with what the comptroller's office said. But right. I don't remember whatever came of it. But I remember there was some yeah. discussion about how it could be done. You can, yeah, well, I remember. You was could that? do it. You could do it, but it needed to be. They wanted it to be worded a little bit different. Maybe just yeah. charge performance yeah. bonus instead of Christmas bonus or some it means semantics that's like that. I don't make the charge of camps. I thought, yeah. Yes. It says bonuses. It just says bonus. It doesn't it's, say it's Christmas. Says now it doesn't it says say that. Bonus. It just says bonus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, but that was a, the Christmas dinner thing. Dinner. Dinner. Christmas dinner. 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 Call it a Christmas dinner, but we if we call it a training with an all staff training, then we can pay for it. Right, I got you a good idea right here. Uh, well, now the seventeenth is tentatively a scheduled dinner for the employees to go out and eat. They're going to pay for it ourselves. That's what our plan was, but that's the seventeenth. <laughs> That night was our Is time. there money in the budget for you a five thousand dollar bonus? Yes. Is there money in the budget to give the employees it's in that line a right? bonus yes. of how much is it's four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars each. Yeah. And that's what they did. How many employees you got? I'll make a motion that Uh, I make a motion that we we how do I word this? We continue with the performance bonus with Tommy. Tommy. Also, the how do you word it? So I'm stuck on it anyway. The annual bonus for the employees. So like to see Mrs. Tommy, us and Tommy with work with Tommy in the maybe okay, all right. meeting is the develop goals for next goals year. Goals for next year, and I think we all need to be a part of it instead of just allowing it going to one committee. So we all, uh, if somebody rolls off, we don't get it. like he said. This can be. I'm sorry we dropped this one, but we did. Right. Uh, right. right. From Tommy's standpoint, with those two, with the departure of those two in. Uh, board members, it this just dropped. Right. So. I second that motion. I 
to us long and drawn out, but that's what it get down. Mm -hmm. Did you specify the length? Uh, Five hundred for him and four hundred for each employee. Is that and we it, could we keep it a little bit more vague and per the budgeted yeah. value for? Is it broken up with Tommy and then? No, it's just all of them together. Could we not just match last year's? But there's money to do that, and that's matching last year. Same budget as last year? Yes. Mm -hmm. So same as last year. Mm -hmm. Nothing easier way to phrase it. Yeah. So we've got Craig's motion. Is there a second? Yes. We've got a second. Dwight seconds. To match last year's um, bonus levels and continue them going forward. And to develop a evaluation tool that we can use to assess Tommy's performance going forward. Discussion? Uh, I think you do want to hear from us because we're, we've been here the longest. Um, in a nutshell, we're moving forward and mm -hmm. under his direction, we're moving forward and with that in itself is, en is enough for me to, to allow this bonus this time. So. And if you'll let me speak a little to it too from a historical standpoint, we wanted to have a little bit of a, a carrot incentive that we could uh, use with the general manager's position. You've got base pay and then you've got an incentive to keep the drive and the momentum going. And that's what we were looking at with the bonus was a way to incentivize uh, Tommy uh, or whoever was sitting in that seat to uh, continue to move this water department uh, ahead. Yeah, and we're, and we're moving it by leaps and bounds. I mean, well, I don't feel like we're stagnant. I, I feel like we're really good. But that's kind of, I guess you and I are the only two that we're, we're here, yeah. the original <laughs> group. Everybody satisfied with the discussion and the motion? Need to take a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. It is passed. Thanks for all your hard work this year, Tommy. Thank you. Any huh? okay. other things that need to come before this group tonight? Have you seen the uniforms for, they look great. You need to, and we appreciate you badging everybody looking that way. Uh, I would suggest that you get them all a hat for Christmas that has water apartment so that they all have a, a nice uniform hat. Socks and underwear would be optional, but uh, I think a, a hat would be in order. And they all wear caps, so. Uh, and then you could have gimme caps for thank you, see if you have some some caps. Just a suggestion. And uh, we we had had some discussion a while back with a problem with uh, a water meter that had been locked out and uh, they cut it and we're getting water. Mm -hmm. Where are we on that? What are we going to do on that? Well, we, we removed the meter and locked it back out and we monitor it. He's been penalized. There's a fee waiting for him to pay when he comes and sits. Is it whoever comes in here is going to have to pay that to okay. get services? So we removed the meter. Meter's been removed. I went and checked it today and actually found something going on that shouldn't have been when I was out there, which I shared with the building code inspector. Okay, nothing with us. Nothing with us. Okay. Okay. But I did check. So that hasn't been resolved. I guess is my biggest question. We. We haven't resolved that. He hasn't come in and paid it or asked about it or anything. You no, know, my understanding is the attorney, our attorney, the county attorney, has sent a letter. His understanding was it's supposed to have been paid. There was agreement made, but nobody's paid anything. Okay. He sent a letter out stating that they was it's not been paid yet. And he needed to. This is on the county's part. The permit, and he's not paid his permit for his building inspection. Well, he's in conflict with them over his building. He had a meter, this is history. He bought a meter, it was paid for. 
we could install it, but I, well, I told him, I said, it has to be locked out, you can't use it. I can install it because you paid for it, because the attorney said that it was fine, our county attorney, and he was warned you can't use it. And he claimed his explanation to one of the ladies was it was not locked, but it was locked out when we installed it. Uh, the lock was removed. I witnessed it, went out there, did, the, did a little report. I talked to the sheriff about it a little bit. And normally, I it's such a hassle to try to get a warrant for somebody and all that. Is going to find him the 250 in her policy because he was warned up front not to touch it. He admitted to turning it on too. He told the lady in office, "I turned it on because it's unlocked." He knew he couldn't use it. So uh, he's been billed for three months worth of water, the 250 fine, and all penalties and charges that could be added to it. This is new construction with a building permit issued. It's building permit was issued for a barn that turned into be a dwelling. Okay. Uh, to make the long story short. Okay. Which uh, there's a county ordinance that says that the building code inspector has a right to ask us to shut services off when there is a code violation or whatever. And we always, since I've been here, we've tried to, we've complied with that all, all the time. <coughs> I was just asking Dwight about that on the way into this meeting. That's fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just wondered where we were with it. Other no comments continue. from the board tonight? Are you going to talk about our red truck? Our red truck. Oh, I'm sorry. I did forget about that. Uh, Mayor, we, we went and looked at it. Yeah, they wanted us to donate that 13 model, 2013 model truck. We, I don't really care about it personally, but we do have another truck just like it, same year model. The airbags blew out in it, but I don't think other than a damaged, I mean, I meant to get married to see if we paid any money for it. I forgot about that too. But other than a damaged uh, coolant system for the transmission, I believe, we have a truck, it's a lower mileage truck sitting there. Good, should be good motor vehicle transmission. We have another truck that could be put back together with one we already have. And have a newer newer truck if we wanted to fix it. They've asked to buy it and I told them I didn't care to do that, but we have to follow county policies on purchase and I would not do nothing. Well they, it would have to be it's it's being done the uh, we made it a surplus item, but I held on to it for this reason because we had one like it. A identical truck. So for nothing else, we can use it for parts. Parts, or we could. But we could sell it for salvage. And if you see how Ray does on just junk vehicles, he sells. He makes big, big money out of the Oh yes. Oh yes. He sells stuff on. Have you done anything? I saw it. So. Yeah. I. I it has value. It has. He. I think he wanted yeah. to give three thousand dollars, which, if. If the policy says if it's surplus, you have to quote on it or it has to be optional. Auction or seal bids, I think it's the only way you can dispose of it. I can't just outright sell it to somebody. You can do deals and options. Yeah, you can do it on the online auction. Online auction. Or you can keep it for parts. Yes. I keep it for parts. Or take the airbags that blew, but hit, you know, if this truck failed. Well, if this truck fell, we can try to look at what it costs to get it back on the road, which I might still do that. I would get I would get blanket ship for somebody to look at it and see what it costs to fix it. Yeah. I mean, uh, when Mark Joe wrecked her car the last time, I bought it back for salvage. The insurance company paid me forty five hundred dollars, and they fixed it for thirty five. There is an old. It's company. a salvage title, but I don't care. She's still been driving it for five years, and she's already wrecked it once or twice since then. <laughs> so I knew she'd wreck it again. So what did it matter if it was a salvage title? So, uh, you know, I, I first of all, I would say, look, have somebody that does that, a body shop, look at it and see what it would cost to fix it and put it back in service yeah. first. And then if that's really excessive, keep it for parts. Or if we want to sell it, if you don't think you need it for parts, then sell it. But I would find out first what it would cost to have it fixed. Yeah. That's, that's that's just my thinking. I mean, are we in need of another truck? I, well, one of the other trucks.
trucks that we used to have, we put it back on the road too with a new employee. I didn't have enough room to go in. Mm -hmm. And I'm still hazy on this. Back up, back up, please. I'm an old man and I know I'm feeble. We wrecked the truck. The insurance company paid us the total value of the truck and they didn't take the truck. It sounded, well, they just left it with We may us. have bought it back from them. Well, that's what I'm asking. What did we do? Well, we, I meant to find out what it was. I think we got a reduced price because we kept the truck. They One of the guys said $800. I don't know that that would be right. Really? I wouldn't that's think true. it would be right. I but I, I, I'd like to know the history of what happened. We had a wreck. They bought the those new trucks back you know, when it was bid wrong and all that. The bids were thrown on. No, that might have been something else. This will back further. I think it was an employee on employee wreck is what it was. They stopped and the guy run right into them. It didn't hurt the other truck, but got hit. It just damaged the one, the one down there. It was a, in other words, it was a, that's how it happened. It was wrecked, a utility on utility wreck. So we ran into our own truck. We ran into our own truck. Okay. We ran into our own truck. So low speed collision. I think did insurance it. pay anything? I mean, I, yeah. I'm sure. You guys give us some details. We'll get you some details. On it. I don't know. We put this one on the next month's agenda for discussion. I don't know why we didn't fix it then. Just, I, I mean, that's my point. Okay, so we ran into our own truck and it's sitting there and it's 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 beat up, but. Right. Either insurance paid us to fix it, or we didn't turn it in on insurance before you came. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. All <coughs> so, something here ain't computing. I just, I, well, you can't be for. How much long? How much? How, how, how further back before you? I don't know. Oh, okay. It was twelve. Not too long. Not, Do you remember? Because I was. I, was in water water there, but I, I can't tell you what the mileage is because you, you have to get the battery operating on it. But uh, well, Scotty. Stayed you know, all, I think, I think Jerry was still here. Was Jerry still here? Jerry was still here. Hang hey, on, let's here. Just to answer your own question. Uh, it was Steve Law and Damn somebody. Man. They were working. They had a low speed collision, water to water truck. In the bag spot. Yep. But beyond that, man, yeah, I've, I've, I've slept too many I times know. and I can't remember all oh, the details. Well, I said before my time. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, why didn't you fix it? Why don't we still see if we can fix it? We can I mean, that's a relatively new truck. It can't have that many miles on it. Yeah, we could do it like the CD, man. You got two body shots in the truck. Yeah, let's get my get set to look at it. And but I'm just saying, find out. Cost nothing to find yeah, out. We'll find out. I'll find out. Other things that need to come before the group. Is anything like that hanging else that we need to know about that we don't know about that has been sitting back there? That right there finds you. I'm glad you wasn't here a couple yeah. years ago. Somewhere in the cabinet. <laughs> If that fired you, you up, been you, up. Were, you wouldn't be living. If <laughs> <laughs> that fired you up, <laughs> yeah, so stuff we've been through. <laughs> Take your chill pills, boy. <laughs> the ride's been worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure of that. Oh, Believe me, man. I am sure of that. Oh man, a wreck truck that hadn't been touched. <laughs> There's nothing else. We'll meet again on December 17th. Uh, Mary Dale, if you would assist by reminding us, especially of that change date. Yeah, that would be great. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Sir. Adios. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. I'm going to lay low that you don't turkey. <laughs> Did I think we need to tell you about everything we've read? Oh, I don't think he made it. I really don't feel to this day. I don't think he made it. Hey, Mr. Wilson, I tried to explain him that I get before I get him. There he is. If I were to learn, I said, look, you were to commissioner again, I'd have to give up my seat on the floor.